Across the globe, construction projects are becoming bigger, more complex, and more technologically demanding. From floating wind farms to modular nuclear reactors, the infrastructure of tomorrow requires a new class of construction equipment. Enter the SK-6000. Developed by Mamowit, a global leader in engineered heavy lifting, the SK-6000 is not just the largest land-based crane ever designed, it may also be the most intelligent. Built to handle unprecedented lifting challenges, the SK-6000 incorporates advanced digital systems, modular engineering, and operational capabilities that redefine what cranes can do. But what does it mean for a crane to be smart? How does the SK-6000 stack up against other giants in the field? And what role will it play in the mega projects of the future? In this deep dive, we'll explore everything that makes the SK-6000 unique, from its raw power to its embedded intelligence, and ask the ultimate question, is this the smartest crane ever built? This is Hard Hat Industries, where we explore the machines, people, and innovations shaping the future of construction. The SK-6000 was announced by Mamowit as a response to a simple but critical challenge. Modern infrastructure requires lifts that are heavier, higher, and more precise than ever before. Think about the components used in offshore wind turbines, nuclear containment domes, or petrochemical reactors. These are not only massive, but also delicate and they need to be installed with millimetric accuracy. Traditionally, this kind of work would require massive crawler cranes with large teams of operators, support crews, and a lot of time to mobilize and demobilize. Mamowit envisioned a better solution, a crane that could be delivered in modular sections, assembled on site with fewer resources, and controlled with digital precision. The result was the SK-6000, a ring-based crane system with a lifting capacity of up to 6,000 metric tons. That's more than any other land-based crane currently in operation. But lifting capacity is only the beginning of the story. All right, let's dive into the nuts and bolts of what makes the SK-6000 a beast. Here's the tech that powers this game changer laid out so you can feel its scale. First, lifting capacity. This crane can hoist up to 6,000 metric tons. That's like picking up an entire military submarine or a massive block of fully loaded shipping containers in one go. Next, height. The SK-6000 can lift components as high as 220 meters. That's tall enough to handle the biggest modules in energy and infrastructure projects, no sweat. Then there's reach. With a working radius of up to 144 meters, this crane can grab heavy loads and set them down with pinpoint accuracy, even at extreme distances. That's a game saver on sprawling industrial sites. Powering it all is a fully electric drive system. This isn't just about lower emissions, it means quieter operation, smoother control, and easy integration with modern smart grids. It's heavy lifting with a green edge. When it comes to setup, the SK-6000's modular design is a standout. It can be shipped on standard container ships or flatbed trucks and assembled on site with way less gear than traditional ring cranes. That saves time cuts risks and keeps the job site humming. As for cost, Mamowit's keeping that under wraps, but here's the kicker. By slashing project timelines and crew needs, this crane could save some serious cash on complex jobs. That's the SK-6000's tech in a nutshell. Raw power, smart design, and efficiency rolled into one. We've covered the tech, the capabilities. Now let's address one question we can't ignore. How much does it cost to rent a machine like this? 
While we don't have exact numbers and Mamoid isn't likely to share them, we can make an educated guess based on industry standards and the sheer scale of the SK-6000. Think about this. A 1,000-ton crawler crane in high-demand markets rents for $1,000 to $200,000 a week. That's without transport, assembly, or crew. And that's for an older, less advanced model. Now consider the SK-6000. It delivers 6,000 tons of lifting power with precision controls and fully electric operation. Its modular delivery puts it in a league of its own for multi-month high-stake projects, we're likely talking millions per deployment. Then there's the logistics. This crane doesn't just roll in. It arrives in dozens of containers and is assembled like a massive puzzle. So it takes weeks, requires multiple support cranes, and demands a highly trained crew. Once it's running, you're paying for elite operators and diagnostic technicians. Complex projects might even need a centralized control system. Here's the twist, though. The SK-6000 can actually save money. On mega projects, time is the biggest cost. This crane can cut weeks off the schedule, reduce manpower needs, and avoid delays with its pinpoint accuracy. That could save millions in potential overruns. So, is it expensive? Absolutely. But for a modular refinery, a next-generation power plant, or a floating offshore wind platform, the SK-6000 isn't just a cost. It's a strategic investment, and likely a very smart one. Now, let's talk about what makes the SK-6000 truly stand out. Its potential for operational intelligence. Full disclosure, Mamoet hasn't shared every detail about the SK-6000's systems, but given its cutting-edge design and industry trends, it's likely packed with some seriously advanced tech. Here's how that might look in action. Picture this. The crane's got sensors embedded throughout, constantly checking things like load weight, stress points, and even wind conditions. If something's off, say a component's misaligned or a gust pushes past safe limits, the system could instantly adjust or pause the lift, keeping everyone safe. Operators might not even be near the crane. They could be in a control room hundreds of meters away, surrounded by high-res cameras, LiDAR scans, and digital displays that give them a complete view of the job site. It's like piloting a crane from a sci-fi command center. Then there's the way it might keep itself in top shape. Diagnostic tools could be monitoring performance around the clock, spotting tiny issues before they turn into big problems. This means less downtime and longer lifespan for the equipment. And when it comes to planning, the SK-6000 could sync up with digital tools like building information modeling. Engineers might run virtual simulations of a lift weeks in advance, tweaking every detail to perfection. By the time the real lift happens, the crane's already got the playbook dialed in. These kinds of features aren't just theoretical. They're the direction high-tech cranes are heading, and a machine like the SK-6000 is likely leading the charge. It's built for the real-world chaos of mega-projects, where precision, timing, and safety are everything. So how does the SK-6000 stack up against the heavyweights in the crane world? Let's break it down and see what sets this beast apart. First, there's Big Carl, the Saren's SGC-250. This ring crane is a titan lifting up to 5,000 tons and proving its worth on nuclear projects like Hinkley Point C in the UK. It's a powerhouse, no doubt, but it doesn't quite leverage the SK-6000's cutting-edge smart tech or modular design. Next up, the Liebherr LR-13000. This crawler can handle 3,000 tons and is one of the toughest conventional cranes out there. It's mobile, battle-tested, and gets the job done. But 
it leans heavily on human operators and manual planning, lacking the high-tech edge the SK6000 likely brings. Then we've got the Favell Favco M2480D, a tower crane built for high-rise construction. With a max lift of 330 tons, it's a speed demon for skyscrapers. But it's not cut out for the ultra-heavy industrial loads the SK6000 tackles. It's just playing in a different league. What makes the SK6000 stand alone? It's the combo of unmatched lifting power, sky-high reach, likely digital smarts, modular flexibility, and remote operation. No other crane quite hits all those marks. Why is this crane's intelligence so crucial? Today's construction projects face more than just physical hurdles. They tackle digital, logistical, and financial challenges too. Every idle hour on the job site burns cash. Every error raises liability. And every safety issue can halt progress. The SK6000 Smart Crane changes everything. It keeps fewer crew members in harm's way, speeds up setup times, and works hand in hand with digital planning tools. Plus, its predictive systems and simulations cut down on costly mistakes, and its fully electric operation slashes emissions. This crane isn't just about raw power. It's about working smarter, keeping people safer, and delivering real value over the long haul. The SK6000 isn't just a machine, it's a blueprint for the future. Imagine fully autonomous construction yards, where cranes like this receive lift plans from AI systems and execute them with no human intervention. Imagine cranes coordinating in swarms to build entire modular plants in weeks instead of months. With global infrastructure demands expected to grow exponentially over the next two decades, particularly in energy, transport, and vertical urban development, cranes like the SK6000 will become the cornerstone of how we build. Mamowitz's approach proves that heavy lifting is no longer just about size. It's about systems. It's about strategy. And in that respect, the SK6000 may not just be the smartest crane ever built, it might be the first of an entirely new class. So is the SK6000 the smartest crane ever built? If you define smart as fast, safe, flexible, data-driven, and digitally integrated, then the answer is likely yes. And more importantly, it's not just a one-off marvel. It's a signal of where the industry is heading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive, be sure to subscribe to Hard Hat Industries for more insights into the machines that build our world. Let us know in the comments what heavy machinery or mega project you want us to cover next. Until next time, keep building.